Hey, water signs. Okay, so this is going to be for your 2023. Water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, so we're going to do Cancer first. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What's here for Cancer? What's here for Cancer? So we have purpose, gratitude, and then we have courage and honesty here coming out. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep all four of those. It's like something is still going to be loud and clear even though you turned it down. Oh, okay, so this is your abundance. So, um, mm -hmm. you have to turn some basically all the way down in order for it to have some kind of, um, in, in order for something to be noticed, basically. Or um, just basically, okay, so if this is somebody trying to turn down your turn up or something, like if they're trying to get in the way of your abundance, it's not going to work. It doesn't matter because I know for a fact I had this speaker like on real low and it was I'm, I was still able to hear it. And then I turned it down like two notches and I was still able to hear it pretty loud. And I'm like, I don't want that in my video. So, yeah, that could be significant. It could also be something here, too, about music. What's here? Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Gratitude, honesty, courage. What's here for this purpose energy for cancer? Yeah, I really feel like um somebody is trying to stop your shine or this is you trying to stop somebody's shine or some shit here and it's not going to work. Community. Whoever this is is a community leader. What's gratitude? You definitely could have cancer heavily in your chart. You're a healer. I feel like people need to be grateful about whatever this is that you are providing. Yeah, our angel Metatron with the uh, honesty. Some kind of communication is coming in for you or you're making communication with somebody. Yeah. Somebody needs to have courage to walk away from someone as well. If you don't walk away from whoever this person is, Cancer, then you're going to be stuck in a karmic cycle. Yeah. There's this angel of balance here to balance something out regarding the country. There is our angel Michael. Extracting somebody who was attached to you. Maybe in the spirit, rest and rejuvenate. Yeah, somebody was trying to attach themselves to you. They knew what they were doing. It was all because of money. Whoever this is, or this is you. This I, I feel like this is cancer doing this to someone else. I'm not even going to cap you down. I feel like this is a cancer trying to ride somebody's fucking coattail. And don't know how to let go. What's here? Or this is happening to you from another cancer, period. It's a cancer here doing this lame shit. What's here? Community. It's a cancer here that's like, they're refusing to walk away. They're not being guided either. It's like this person wants to get guidance, but they don't have any. Their connection is completely distorted. What's here? Like distorted. That means like audio, right? So, it, yeah, it's something about this person's connection, something about um, a speaker or something. It's something about that. It's like somebody's trying to ruin your voice or something. Yeah, to the C. This card obviously wanted to come out. So, I know I'm on point. Somebody's trying to ride your wave or something. Somebody's trying to get something easily. What's here for um, Hill of the Ages for Cancer? You're a fucking boss. Or this person's a boss and you can't do shit about it. What's here? Mm-hmm. The face. It seemed like here, um, July 17th, somebody tried to, they tried to manipulate something with your path. What's Metatron? This person was trying to go in the spirit and manipulate something in your path here. And that's why they're getting dealt with. This is crazy. This, this person right here definitely was trying to attach some cords to you. I feel like you cut cords with this person or they cut cords with you. A change in the wind and something is abruptly changing. This person is losing everything. Whoever this person is, Cancer, or whoever the fuck you are, you're going to lose everything playing with this person. Let's walk and go ahead. Somebody is destined to be a fucking starter, destined to be in the spotlight, chaos and conflict, but they're still happy. So, yeah, somebody sees that you're happy and they want to bring chaos and conflict to you. Like I feel, this is a Cancer doing this. What's here? Walk and go ahead. This is really stupid as fuck, to be honest with you, because whatever they were doing was not fair to you. I feel like they don't care about being fair. They care about being narcissistic. 
this person only wants something to go their way. Somebody also don't want nobody to be viewing you, but they think about you all day long. This person knows that they're not gifted at all. They don't want anybody viewing you because nobody's viewing them. They have nothing to view. What's here? This person has nothing to bring to the table or you don't. What's this energy here? This two to see. This this person definitely have been on your um they they've been in your life for a long ass time doing shit in the background, but they have no authority. They're working with third parties as well. This person may be trying to get you to talk to them or something, or they may reach out to you soon to partner with you, but you're not going to. This person is gonna bring a complete end to everything that you have. What's two to see? If you are a cancer and this is happening to you, another cancer is doing this, but this is a cancer. I don't give a fuck. They were not able to sacrifice you either. They're hopeful. They're they're very hopeful in being able to sacrifice you, but they can't. Like they and this person won't move on either. What's the face? Choose wisely. This person didn't choose wisely. They were supposed to rest and rejuvenate. Whatever this is that's changing for you, fam, masculine, it's in a good way. You're still gonna be able to move forward. What's to be fair? I feel like this is just karma doing its job. I feel like karma is doing his job and this person right here is on the receiving end of some horrible ass karma, period. But they kept trying to fuck your shit up. This is why nothing is working out for them. Heart chakra, suffering in silence. You still have a heart, you're still able to love. Wow. So that may be what they were trying to attack, your heart chakra. This person was doing some real fucked up ass shit in the background trying to attack your heart chakra. They didn't want you to have any love in your heart. What else is here? Tell me more about who this person is that cancer is dealing with. I feel like you need to just be mindful. This person, just sit back and let karma do what it do. Because this person, you don't have to do anything. This person is getting their shit. They try to energetically attach cords to you. July 7th is significant. What's this energy here? They try to energetically attach cords to you purposely. They try to attach cords to you. Yeah, and instead you're receiving sudden wealth. Maybe this is what this person wanted. They wanted some kind of sudden wealth and they're not getting shit. They wanted to be the man. They wanted to be the big boss bitch here around town and they're not shit. What's here for choose wisely? They're not any of this. They were trying to steal from you spiritually. This person right here is a loser. Or this is your ass losing. Mm-hmm, concern. This person also got a concern about a child as well. Maybe this is why they want to come back and fuck with you, Cancer, because a child ain't theirs or something. You don't want nothing to do with this person, though, privileged lady. This person may come in and try to speak some kind of truth to you as well, but it's still going to make you go the other way. This person is going to jail. They they went the wrong path. Like, this this could be your twin or something. Or a false flame. Lover's card. Yeah, this is definitely a false flame or something. Your real twin would never do anything like this to you. So this person is coming towards you. I feel like on some humble bullshit. Like this, this, whatever they want from you, you don't want this from them or with them or anything like that. You don't want to. It's like you don't want to exchange any energy with this person at all. But they're thinking of a way to come into your life after they was in the background doing lame ass shit to you. What's here for cancer? Someone rising of no this sudden world energy. Cancer summarizing of no. You're getting some kind of good news as well. Yeah, nine of cups reverse. This person is not getting what they want. So they, they obviously wanted some kind of wish fulfillment, but they're not getting it at all. What's concerned? Cancer, I feel like you have so much shit going on or this, you know, this person has a lot going on and you just need to leave this person the fuck alone because they're moving on without you. Whatever this is, it got something to do with love. They want to come back and be in love with you. Or something like that, but you don't want anything to do with them because I feel like they wasted too much time. You have the Ace of Wands. They want to start over fresh with you. The Ace of Wands and the Ace of Down Swords came out with the Six of Wands at the bottom. Yeah. So it's like this privileged lady is getting the new beginning and this person is sitting back watching it. Okay. What's here? Yeah, they're going to end up walking away with the Eight of Cups or you're going to end up walking away. Like, you need to go and mind your fucking business, I feel. Because whoever the fuck you are or whoever the fuck this is, they don't have any good intention for whoever this other energy is. Literally, they don't have any good intention at all. Or you don't, okay? And somebody has really fucked up everything and they're about to lose everything too playing fucking games. Okay. 
Let's see. Who? Scorpio now? Hold on. I got to make sure I do some timestamps. So then we're going to go over to Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun Moon Rising, North Node. Scorpio, Sun Moon Rising, North Node. What's going on here for Scorpio? What's here for Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun Moon Rising, North Node. Scorpio. It's a relationship here for you, Virgo. I mean, not Virgo. Or you could be dealing with a Virgo. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> it's a relationship here for you, Scorpio, that you have to walk away from. You have to walk away from this Virgo. This, um, or this Virgo has to walk away from you or something like that. Somebody is refusing to let go. This is just a bunch of bull. Okay, these, these people do not know how to leave y'all the fuck alone, but only after they were, you know, being assholes to you the whole time. Somebody was being an asshole to you the whole time here, Scorpio, or this is you. I feel like you're finding peace. Yeah, judgment. You have to call judgment. Somebody is under judgment, too. Somebody's pride got in the way of something as well, but they're being put under judgment for something that they ended up doing. And something is not going to grow. It's not going to be successful. But, you know, whatever this is, I feel like whatever love could be to you, it's, it's over. Something is ending. It's an end to this relationship and end to, you know, these um plots and schemes and shit that motherfuckers be trying to have on you. You definitely are dealing with a Virgo. Or um, Taurus or Capricorn or something like that. What's pride? <laughs> you know, I love myself and I see myself in everyone, yeah. I heard the word demeanor. Somebody's demeanor is going to show you who they truly are. Seem like somebody body language, like you're going to be watching somebody body, uh, body language or this is how you can tell that a person is lying to you or something. Maybe you're studying body language or some shit like that. What's peace? You, whoever you are, you're very intricate, like you're um very, very intuitive, I want to say, but you're intellectual as well. What's this judgment? Yeah, deep knowing. I can't make it up. So you definitely are Scorpio, <laughs> excuse me, Sun Moon Rising or the North Node. You know when somebody's lying to you. You know when somebody's trying to lure you in. You know when somebody is, you know, um, not thinking. <clears throat> you know how... That very understanding quality that you have, how you can be empath um, emp empathetic, I want to say, sympathetic with somebody like, oh, I ain't going to react because they probably having a hard day or I ain't going to react because, you know, they going through some shit. You can literally look at somebody and tell that something ain't right. So therefore you don't retaliate. This could be a part of your job or something. Scorpio. Someone rising up now. Mm-hmm. Archangel Michael here. What's soulmate stand in reverse for pride? Yeah, all tied up. So this is basically you catching somebody in a lie. And it's due to your research i want to say like you you literally study body language or some shit or you just are very intuitive where you know when somebody's lying to you you know when somebody's being genuine when they're being sneaky you know it's, it's like it's nothing that nobody can get past you and i'm trying to figure out why the hell this person would even try but uh, maybe they don't know this about you scorpio what's here for deep knowing it's like even with your partner, like you know when they're lying to you, you know when they've been talking to somebody else, you know when they're interested in someone else, you know when y'all are, you know, growing apart. It's something about body language. Yeah, victory. Mm -hmm. You're very smart. And also, too, I feel like there's some kind of judgment that's going to go in your favor as well. Okay, especially if you have Scorpio in your fifth house. 
or moon. this all tied up energy for Scorpio. Summarizing up now. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's how you have an advantage over a situation here. The universe also is going to work with you. I feel like somebody is not getting downloads or something or you may be dreaming. You can't remember your dreams or something. Somebody's doing something in a very negative way towards you or this is you doing this to someone else and it's going to fucking backfire. Yeah. Somebody ain't going to be able to move on because you caught them in a lie or something. Or you're not going to move on with someone else because they're lying. Or somebody going to say something. You're going to either hear something or you're going to see something. You're going to know somebody was lying to you the whole time. It's just something about you being able to visibly see when somebody's lying to you. Or maybe you need to tap into this. Because being around a liar is a big fucking deal because they don't tell them what else the fuck they're hiding. What's the victory energy? I also feel like somebody is hiding the way that they make money. Suffered in silence, yeah. Also, too, this could be somebody suffered in silence because you had a, a win, a victory in court or something like that or some kind of judgment winning your favor or this is your mad fucking ass suffering in fucking silence because you don't have no authority over someone else. That's just period. I feel like somebody is too motherfucking sad and invested in, you know, trying to make somebody else's life a living motherfucking hell. And then the shit turned up being bad for them. <laughs> That's what you tend to get, though. When you don't know how to mind your fucking business. Somebody's also going to jail for stealing. They're a goddamn thief. I heard the word petrified. Some is over. And also, too, somebody got some kind of money for a death here. Something that was left to you maybe as a child. These people work together to steal some shit from you and they all going to jail. Yeah, because they're false as fucking hell for, or this is you. And I also feel like, too, somebody, it may be somebody, okay, so, okay. Well, this may not be you studying body language. It's some kind of body language expert that's going to call this bitch or this nigga out in court or something like that. Somebody knows somebody is lying. Yeah, this main female, whoever this is, somebody is going to jail for stealing. And they're going to get called out. Like, this person is being eliminated. Whoever this is, this is one of your enemies. They're being eliminated, okay? What's here? Suffering in silence. Mm -hmm. This person is going to jail because they're fake. You're official, they're fake. And then this is also like a police officer or something. 222 is significant. August 2nd, 2022 is significant. This person did some stupid ass shit last year and they think that they were going to have to pay for it or this is you. Scorpio summarizing North Node. There's also a Leo here as well. What's this pride energy, child? I feel like somebody was trying to hold back some kind of information from you as well, Scorpio. Um, it's, it's something about body language. I don't care. It's something about somebody is studying somebody's body language and they know automatically you're lying. But it's like being official. It's like being certified or something. And whatever this person is saying, like, hey, I know they're lying. I study body language. They're, they're definitely going to be uh, other measures and protocols taken. Yeah, justice. Something, it's like something is going to happen from this person reading somebody's body language, period. Maybe some further investigation or something like that. Because it's somebody who is literally uh, professional. They're qualified, trained to do something with body language. Will of Fortune. I don't feel like they're just going to downright blame somebody or say that they're guilty. But it's like whatever they're seeing right here is going to bring a lot of conflict to this person because they know that the truth really lies within their body language. And they're going to do other shit. They're going to go to other extremes. I'm trying to tell you. So if this is your ass lying in court or something, it's a body language expert that's definitely going to go into further investigation on your motherfucking ass because they know you're fucking lying, period. They're going to do whatever they need to do to prove that you're lying because your body language shows you're lying. What's the official person? Wow. Somebody is really, um, yeah, whoever this King of Swords is. So somebody was really waiting to see if some kind of lie was going to um, be able to be told in court or something or some lie that they did tell in court. They didn't think that this body language expert was going to bring a fucking tower, but they are. This is very sad. Yeah, whoever this emperor is, somebody was being sneaky regarding the Ace of Pentacles here. This Queen of Wands was left out in the cold or something. 
but it's all going to end up working out there in the ten of pentacles yeah it's a lot of magic here as well you could be dealing with a leo or a pisces capricorn libra yeah, it's balance being restored. Somebody is going to be defeated with this. This is this was just really stupid for somebody to get on the stand and fucking lie. Okay, if they lied on you or you lied on somebody else, this is about to fucking backfire on your ass. This is crazy. This is really motherfucking stupid here. <laughs> what the fuck? Y'all fuck me on some bullshit. <sighs> anyway, Pisces, you're next. Yeah, what the fuck it is? This is very, very messy. So, Pisces. <clears throat> Sweeney. Pisces, okay. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? I heard the word belligerent. I'm seeing a fight break out. Y'all be careful, okay? Just because it's the new year, let me just tell y'all this, bro. Just because it's the new year, that don't mean that people want to start over new. That don't mean that they want to do some new shit and be new. That don't mean that. Pisces, yeah, somebody's trying to start some kind of argument with you. Maybe because you're free from something. It seems like you freed yourself from somebody and their tactics or some shit. You're not able to be controlled. Abundance is in the reverse. Courage is in the reverse. Somebody that lost everything when, they left, when you left them or when they left you. I also feel like somebody too thought that because they left you that they were going to have the one up or something, the upper hand, and they don't. They feel stupid, actually. And now they're worried. It's a state of emergency where somebody is as well. This person, everything around this person is falling down. And this shit in nature that's going on with this motherfucker, this person can't control anything around them. They definitely can't control nature, but they can't control anything. They have no control over anything. Somebody is just in a cycle of badass karma. It's like every day that they wake up, they're going to get some kind of bad news or something here. It's because of whatever they did to you. Yeah, and it's not going to end. It's because you freeze yourself from something like I feel. This person is very disturbed here because you're not living in fear anymore as well. This could be an ex of yours that you let go of. Somebody who doubted you. Somebody who talked shit about you. Maybe even talked down to you. This person is imbalanced. This person is accepting the fact that it's their fucking problem and not yours. You're growing anyway. You're not to blame for any lies that this person told. Whatever adversity that this person also tried to bring to you is coming to a complete halt. It's backfiring on them. What's here? Abundance, reverse courage, and death. Goodness gracious. This is either you or this is somebody else that is taking a fall from grace. This, this person is having a whole fall from grace. Everything... See, when, when when people be indulging in these demonic ass activities, you must understand that you have a contract with the motherfucking devil. You must understand that, right? I don't feel like you should be really thinking that you're going to get anything good or be abundant off of being a low vibing ass demon, bitch. The fuck is you talking about? This person need to learn some patience because they're going to be in this fucked up ass energy for a while. What's this courage reverse? I feel like it's a lot of deception, envy, greed lying you know just a whole bunch of shit right here that this person was doing to you and now it's backfire onto them this person is stuck whoever the fuck this is they're stuck they don't have any love in their heart this person right here was pretending that they cared about you or cared about what you were doing what's the death card it's like the reason why they get their shit little financial constraints they about to lose their shit through everything they were, the reason why they're losing everything is because they were pretending like this person, this was fake, false ass support. This person was planning on supporting you or trying to be there for you, get you in love with them or get you to um, invest everything you had into them. And then they were going to leave you high and dry. Yeah, no. Nah. I feel like spirit opened up your vault because of this shit. This person was trying to block your motherfucking money. They were trying to block you in every way that they felt was a way to block. In your love life, and your money. Your self-esteem, everything. They were they were attacking all of that shit right here, Pisces. Or this is you that was doing this to someone else and you dirty as fuck. And that's why you get your shit. You degree know, shit. What else is here? Patience, yeah. This person needs to have some motherfucking patience because they're gonna be in this cycle for a very long time. Maybe 10 years of badass karma. 10 years of them not being able to know what the fuck is next. 10 years of people coming in, they like to use, abuse them and leave. 10 years of the same shit that they wanted for you is gonna be happening to them. They're literally stuck. Somebody cannot fucking move. 
What's this patience energy? They can't move and they won't fucking move. This person can't go any motherfucking where. Meanwhile, you manifested a brand new life. I feel like spirit him is holding this nigga up just so that you could proceed. This person was always going to sit back and block you. As long as you would have allowed them to is what I heard. But I don't feel like you don't even know that this person was in your energy. What's the angel of love reverse? I don't feel like you even knew they were in your energy. But I feel like spirit was letting them rack up badass karma. So they could permanently leave you the fuck alone. This person is going to get booted the fuck up out of here. To the C reverse. They don't have any guidance either. Door to value. Yeah. They want to know why something now. Now this person wants to know why y'all can't be together or why they're not abundant or why something is happening. Chop wood. They've been extracted from your energetic field. So this is the energy of trying to like attach a fucking cord to you unknowingly, unwillingly. Like you want to never agree to be attached to this goddamn person. Like who the fuck want to be attached to somebody? Like what the fuck? This person has no abundance whatsoever or this is you. What's here? Exchanging gifts for Pisces. Someone rising north. No. And now, you know, the roles have reversed. There's something here that you're doing now. And this person is sitting back watching. Maybe you were in the watchful. Maybe you were watching it first. And now this person is watching. And you're also partnering with someone else. And they're watching you partner with someone else. Maybe you watch this person be happy or something. What's two to see? You watch them move on or pretend to be fucking happy. I don't feel like this person knows what happiness is at all. And you have a positive movement forward. This person can't come with you at all. They don't have any new beginnings. This motherfucker's stuck. And they definitely in spiritual jail. That's the truth of This person definitely is in spiritual jail here. They try to block your intuition, your passion. They try to bring obstacles. It, really, everything that they try to block and they try to bring towards you, it was either stopped or it was reversed. Period. And now they're suffering in silence, losing, looking stupid. I feel like this is exactly what you get when you have fucked up ass motives for people. This person should have left you the hell alone. What's here for Pisces? Partnerships and alliances. Now I feel like whoever this fake person um this fake person is, Parson. Parson. Yeah. Anyway, whoever this fake person is. <laughs> March 27. This motherfucker done lost their mind. Yeah, they were trying to steal shit. Look, they were trying to really steal your path and change your fortune. They were trying to change your destiny here, but they ended up changing their own. Whoever this main female, uh, female, females, my last name Mills, whoever this main female is, this person right here had a whole lot to do with this as well. I feel like this person was coming in trying to befriend you or something, divine fam, or masculine. This could be a masculine energy here. They were trying to befriend you to get information about you to stop you, but they were with this person doing this. It's like some kind of third party, like hot potato energy, like pass around energy. These people were doing this shit unbeknownst to you, though. But this was with communication and information. They were talking all this bullshit about, uh, about you behind your back and you didn't know anything about it. They had plans to steal something well from you behind your back and you didn't know about it. And this is why spirits stopped their ass right where the fuck they was. Yeah, ain't shit changing about these hoes and niggas. Look, I can't make it up. They're going to be in this karmic cycle for a very long time. And whatever they try to change about your destiny, it's not no change to it. You still got door to value. You still got this positive movement forward and sudden well, period. This, I don't know who the fuck these people be thinking they is. Trying to bring a, a complete, like a complete motherfucking stop to your damn um, dreams, your visions. You know what God said. <laughs> They feel like they're in control of that shit. They're not in control of the shit. These hoes and niggas can't even control their emotions, like I said before. These people too motherfucking emotional. That's why they get into this kind of energy and start doing this kind of dumb shit. What else is here for Pisces? Someone rising north node. This shit real dumb as fuck, child. What's here? Yeah, the four of wands. So whoever this is, they wanted some kind of celebration with you, but you... You decline this shit, or you will. I see you in the Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups with somebody fucking else. Yeah, this is somebody from your past, somebody that you're not even looking towards at all. You don't want nothing to do with this Queen of Swords reverse. This Aquarius bitch is a fucking liar. What's this thief? Yeah, and now they're in the Three of Swords. And they may have been trying to bring this Three of Swords energy to you just to drain more energy from you. Or this is their plan. It's not going to work, okay? Shit, real dumb in here. What's the change card in reverse? They were trying to bring heartache and loss to you. Yeah, but they're defeated. This person is petty. They want to win at all costs. They're not going to. This person is not going to win at all. This never going to change. You're always going to be undefeated. What's the five of swords? Clarify the five of swords, please. 
Yeah, magician. So maybe they're trying to win at all costs with some kind of fucking magic. Whoever this cancer is, they're not walking away from some. What else is here? What's this five of swords here? Yeah, the war is over. That, like I feel, it's over. Even if they don't choose to walk away, it's still over. This person's contract is over with uh, with you. It's over. They can't renew this or anything. Spirit brought an end. Cut cords to whoever the fuck this is that tries to tie cords to you. Attach them to you. This is involuntary. You would have never volunteered to be attached to this person. Okay? Remember God loves you so do I.